in uh, the region. Let's focus on Tanzania. There is apparently a nationwide shortage of cooking oil. That's resulting in challenges for both citizens and enterprises alike. The Prime Minister in the country, Kasim Majaliwa, has actually ordered the consignment of the commodity being held at the Dar es Salaam port to be released immediately. The current annual demand for cooking oil in Tanzania, that's anywhere between 400,000 to nearly 600,000 tonnes a year. Domestic output is only 210,000 tonnes. Yes, GTN's Daniel Kijo with more. Making meals is getting harder each day in Tanzania as cooking oil is becoming more scarce. The price of retail and wholesale edible oil increased at an average of 25% over the last two weeks, something that is causing small-scale retail shops like these to struggle. For some of us traders, we can't afford to buy cooking oil in bulk now, so we are waiting for the price to go down again. The country uses 28.9 thousand tons of cooking oil monthly, and it imports a little over 30,000 tons each month to service a domestic demand. The Prime Minister says there should not be a cooking oil deficit. We cannot let this issue go on like this because it almost seems like this is a plan to unsettle Tanzanians, especially during this month of Ramadan when we know Muslims are fasting. Unconfirmed reports suggest that the shortage is due to the detainment of two ships due to tax-related issues at the Dar es Salaam harbor. The ships are said to have on board 62,000 crude oil vegetable consignments. The crude oil is to be processed into finished refined cooking oil, then distributed internally. The retail price for a liter of cooking oil increased from $1.50 to almost $2. Now this difference is affecting small businesses. In most parts of the country, a 10-liter cooking oil container is sold at $18 from the initial $15 two weeks ago, a difference that this food vendor says is affecting her business. Cooking oil is making us suffer now. We feel like giving up and quitting the business, but we can't, as this is what we depend on. In order to ensure that scarcity is not caused by local businesses who are hoarding oil stocks to increase profits, the government says it will inspect warehouses and storage facilities and punish those responsible. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.